On September 4th, I got a call that someone had found a young mourning dove that had fallen from a pretty great height and he fell fairly hard. The first thing I think is why would a bird fall, especially in the case of a mourning dove or a pigeon, it sounds like they have that virus, PMV-1. This virus makes them clumsy and it's neurological. They don't seem to suffer. However, they can't seem to fly straight. They might fly into things. They fly in circles or they do somersaults as they fly. I took a look at this dove and at first we thought we could feed it and perhaps he'd be fine. But as the days progressed, he did get worse. But we filmed him anyway so that you could see the different techniques to feed a young morning dove. At first, he appeared to be eating seeds that we put out for him. But upon closer inspection, we realized he was pecking at the seeds and seemed unable to actually pick them up. The next day was more of the same. He would peck at the seeds, but seemed unable to eat them. In some cases of this virus, birds actually throw the seeds over their own shoulder in their attempts to eat them. His walking has become much clumsier today. In fact, even standing up straight without falling over seems to take great effort. I keep food around him and I make sure he's comfortable in his basket nest, but I'm realizing now that I will have to feed him by hand. For that, I'll use Gerber multigrain cereal that I add warm water to and stir it until it is a little bit thinner than oatmeal. I can also feed him corn niblets or green peas, but for that I have to open his beak by hand and gently put it toward the back of his beak. From there, he'll swallow it on his own. It's important to make sure that the food is small enough and warm enough to simulate what his mother would give him if she regurgitated food for him. Here is the warm Gerber multigrain baby food, and he'll drink it right out of this little dish. I just have to make sure not to cover his nostrils, which are toward the back of his beak near his head. But you can see him drinking this. That's good. Good boy. Good boy. Good. We'll clean your beak for you. There we go. How's that? Birds with PMV will have very runny bowel movements, so keep them in a paper towel if you have to hold them. Poor thing, he can't stand up anymore. He doesn't fly. But I'm hoping that he just gets better if we keep feeding him. You all right? Mm -hmm. Go back in your area over there. At this point, his tendency is to fall over, but I try to keep him comfortable by having him propped up against the side of his nest. I bring him outside for air and in case he wants to peck at any seeds or grit, but I cannot leave him unattended because there are cats in the area. Mm -hmm. You good boy? Stay away from my bird. Here's another feeding where I gently open his beak to put in some peas or corn or even bird seed. And then when I let go, he'll swallow on his own. Good. Have some seeds now. Here's the Gerber multigrain baby cereal again, which is warm and wet, and he drinks it like it's a liquid. Mm -hmm. 
When he's had enough, I make sure to clean his beak so it doesn't dry into a hard cake. Okay, we'll go back in your nest, all right? Back in the basket. Mm -hmm. He seems to be eating and he seems to be comfortable today. The next day, he drank more of the Gerber baby food happily. And I can give him water in the same way. But I notice if he sticks his beak too far down, it covers his nostrils. And I'm not positive he has control of that anymore. His neurological virus is getting worse. The following morning was more of the same, with regular feedings and water. I took him outside for some air, but as the days progressed, his symptoms got worse. He wasn't suffering, but his head twisted around when he relaxed, and I could tell he wouldn't make it. So ultimately this bird did not make it, uh, but I still thought it would be important to publish this video in case you find a morning dove or a pigeon. Maybe some of the things you see in this video can help you uh, to rehabilitate your bird.